to be at an all-time high. We've seen about the HRTs and the dangers of HRTs. We used to think that what was given us by doctors, we would just take the prescription and go home and not really think about it. What I do want the women to understand is they have options. Before you make the decision to take a certain HRT or medication, read about the alternatives first and give them a try. On the next Flip Flop Shop. Today, everyone is busy getting ready for the annual Flip Flop Shop Tour Drive. I'm resting up for the big trip. Elsie, that's a different kind of drive. If we miss this deadline, all of these boys and girls will not have a single toy. The Flip Flop Shop. Watch it every week. Tonight on Family Net, see Janet Parshall's America, followed by Bananas, and at Home Live with Chuck and Jenny. Gordon joins a chainsaw gang. Our mission, get the tree off the roof and put tarps over the holes. Find out how this mission took on an eternal quality for Michael and Diane. Welcome to The Edge, the talk show that's by women, for women, and about women. We're going to have a really good show today. We have Erin from the Quintard Mall is going to talk with us about some things that you're doing for mm -hmm. the hurricane relief. Mm -hmm. And also Nicola Fonte, his local artist, and we're looking forward to talking with him today. So much. Yeah. So how's your morning so far? Oh, it's been great. Great. I already went to Starbucks. Yeah, got I can that, tell. You know, it's great. Like the only <laughs> business I've gotten done today, but you know. <laughs> it makes me happy to get that much done. So. I can't believe you go all the way down there just for a couple I, of I was thinking, do you live there or do you really make a special trip? No, I live right by Stone Center. <laughs> oh, my word. It's worth so it. So you're actually paying about $15 yes. for that yes. coffee yes. every morning. Mm -hmm. I can't help it. I yes. <laughs> gas prices escalate. <laughs> I'm making a profit off of Drew. I try to stop, but yeah. you know, it's like, you know, it's some things make you happy that makes me happy. And the people are always so nice to me. It's nice mm -hmm. to go somewhere where somebody mm -hmm. is nice to you. Mm -hmm. Since, you know, I mean, there's a lot of nice people around here, but <laughs> it's nice to have the service and the coffee, okay? Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Patricia? Same old, same old. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was good. So just nice, pleasant life. Yes, nice, pleasant, nice life. Can't argue with that. that. <laughs> That's a good thing. How about you, Erin? Doing good. Um, little sore today. Yesterday, I started the Leadership Cowan County project mm -hmm. with the Chamber of Commerce. So we did the ropes course at YMCA, and that was quite oh. challenging. Oh, tell us about that. What did so, you do? Well, they have all kinds of different things, and you know, you're with a team, and you do these. They have ropes, tires hanging from ropes, and you have to go to the different tires, like in the air. I mean, it's, it was pretty challenging. You know, lots of things to make you think. You know physically, emotionally, mentally. That's what they said. That they're going to challenge us three ways, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Big companies are else. known for doing that, too. I've been through a lot of training courses. And uh, by the time you would end it, you would think, am I even in the right place? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the deal. We're going to cut to a break, and we'll be right back with um, Hot Celebrity News with Drew. Really hot. <laughs> 
The tradition of quality brand name furniture with friendly personal hometown service is alive and well in downtown Oxford at Cotton Furniture. For over 30 years, furniture shoppers from all over East Alabama have come to trust and rely upon Cotton Furniture to help make their house a home. Because we're small, we specialize in special orders on all of the top brand names. Hometown people doing business the hometown way. Visit our showroom in downtown Oxford and experience the difference of shopping with Cotton Furniture. How does ERA King Real Estate find a buyer when other companies fail? We put our money where our mouth is. $400,000 a year spent locally to find every potential buyer in East Central Alabama. We don't just take a commission. We use it to market your home on TV, radio, in the mall, on the Internet. We also offer the seller security plan, which states that we will sell your house or ERA will buy it. Call or go online today for more information on this or any of our exclusive marketing programs. ERA-King.com Real people. Real worship. Real truth. Real life. Real hope. Real focus on serving a real God. Mount Zion Baptist Church, alive in Christ. Cool pants, hot tops, great shoes, neat phones, computers, gadgets, and more. Find something fun for everyone in the family this fall at Quintard Mall. Quintard Mall, real shopping, real easy. I-20 exit 185 Oxford. Quintard Mall gift cards are the perfect gift to give and to receive. Everyone loves a Quintard Mall gift card. Purchase a gift card today from the mall's guest services desk. Welcome back to The Edge, the show that's by women, for women, about women. Now we have some great celebrity gossip, and also I hear some more localized gossip. Yeah, Ooh. it's a little local gossip. You know, I don't like to gossip too much about the local folks, but you got to every now and then. If it's newsworthy, you got to tell. Well, the thing is, you know, we have an inside source from K98, and we got some information. And the thing is, the radio people we listen to every morning, we really don't get to know. They see us every day. You know, we're out there for the public. You know, they're kind of behind the scenes for the public, so we don't get to see them and how they're doing. Well, to send an email, some pictures. This is something that the public needs to know. They do. They do. I, I think they do. It's very interesting. But, you know, Steve okay. Stevenson. Oh, no. Wonderful guy. Very interesting, too. He is. I, I love Steve. I do too. We love Apparently, you. a lot of people do because in his current condition, he was definitely loved a little bit too much. <laughs> there he is right there, Steve Stevenson. He's still a hottie even though he's pregnant. This proves you can be pregnant and sexy. Right there. Um, I you. think that should be top in line for the National Enquirer. I'm telling you. But you know, he's not the world's first pregnant man. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger. And what was that movie? No, it wasn't Twins. It was Junior. Junior. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's well, Steve. He's wow. Well, he gets um, all his clothes free at Hot Mamas, though, for being the world's second pregnant man. Now, do we know who the mother or the father? I, I, I've heard what should we say? Well, I don't know. I've heard rumors about Chris, so I don't know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, but I don't want to say anything. I mean, he does gossip. love the world. Gossip does not mean that. He says he loves true. the world. <laughs> okay, but on with some Hollywood stuff. <laughs> we love you, Steve. Yes, we do. We all do. Thank you for coming to my store, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mary Kay Olson. She is now the side trial modeling. You know, she's been through a lot with the whole eating disorder and mm -hmm. dating everybody. Everybody. Does she date Steve? By any chance? <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe he's Mary's mama. Just wondering <laughs> who's the mother of it, them. It could be possible. I'll look into that, Donna. It's a good question. Yeah, do. Um, but Calvin Klein has offered her a deal to be one of their models. So she's going to pounce on that. There she is right there. If you get any thinner, I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll be able to see her. But Calvin Klein, he launched Kate Moss's career. So, I mean, mm -hmm. he should be able to launch her. Because she looks thinner than Kate Moss to me. She her is. head looks like it's about to fall off her body I know. almost. I mean, she, how she she's so tiny. Sweet? Yeah. She used to be Ooh. so pretty, too. Okay. Lindsay Lohan, who I think is very pretty. She's in love. She's going to tell everybody she's in love. Her With Steve. <laughs> <laughs> He's not that lucky now. <laughs> but actually, Jared Leto, who I think really? is gorgeous. There he is oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, he is so beautiful. 
Yes, she's a very lucky, lucky, lucky woman. And she looks very happy. Has she gained weight? Because I know she was really thin. You know, she's still very thin. But I think she's healthier now. She's not, she doesn't look as tired. I think she might have been tired with all she was doing. Now, this sounds like something away. your grandmother would say to you. You look healthy now. You know what that means? You've gained a few pounds. pounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she did have, her face does look full, but I don't know. It's hard to tell. Especially when you're in black, you know, it's a slimming color. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Okay. Paris Hilton. Gotta talk about her every day. She has a new friend. Apparently, Steve. <laughs> I know that one, I believe, right there. <laughs> she has moved on. Her normal friends, Kimberly Stewart, Nicole Richie, they're t she's tired of them. She's tired of sharing the spotlight. They're all famous also and getting coverage. Mm -hmm. She's got a new friend named Hayden Pentieri or something. She was on a, a show when she was a younger girl. She's right there. She actually looks a lot like Nicole Richie to me, a lot like her. This little girl is 16 years old. Oh, I would oh, not let my 16-year-old hang around with Paris Hilton. That's what I said, man. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it, they, well, they, apparently they've been going out, hanging out, you know, clubs and stuff like that. So, hmm. and she was, she was in The Ice Princess. That was the movie she was in. But she was also in some normal, everyday show that came on. But she was a lot littler. Hmm. So. Well, I did hear that Paris Hilton sold a date, like a, new, a, a date with her to for $250,000. Did you hear about that? Mm -hmm. To benefit that. the hurricane mm -hmm. victims. So props to her, for, you know, for that. But, I mean, she could end up with, I mean, I wonder who it is, you know, that won the date or they I auctioned off the date. I hope it's not an axe murderer, but at least it'd be a rich axe murderer. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Dude, props for getting $250,000. Oh, no, 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 Well, that's a signed deal right there, though. At least you know what you're getting. But doesn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it might there should be no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask Steve, do they? Yeah. Okay, Jack White. I think he's hot. Y'all probably think he's nasty. I'm I don't not know. sure who he is. He's the lead singer of the White Stripes. The one with oh. Loretta Lynn. Yes. I love oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is about him. He's kind of got the Johnny Depp thing going on to me. He looks dead creepy. to me. I yeah. think he needs to go to Florida for a few weeks, maybe. <laughs> hey, hey, this guy is actually more pale than I am. I know. <laughs> he, he is completely, normally wow. we're not what I but I don't know Has to be makeup. about him. Yeah, makeup. Well, Drew, it's the fact you said you like men who wear eyeliner. Yeah. He probably wears eyeliner. Oh, I'm sure he does. That's it. <laughs> so do you like that prints? Hair. I did when I was younger. I, did, I thought Prince was a good looking man when I was younger. But then you okay. grew out of that. Yeah, no thank good. goodness. I still love his music though. Okay, he is married. He got married to a model. Now he dated Renee Zellweger for two years. When they broke up, she went and married Kenny Chesney, mm -hmm. the country singer, just like right after they broke up. So not maybe a couple weeks later, he married this model who is not any, she's no big name. but. Um, they're saying that apparently he is still in love with Renee, even now, because they, it was reported that they were at a gas station and she went to go get him. She, he stopped at a gas station. He was thirsty, so she yelled out, hey, Renee, will you get me a Coke? <gasps> to his wife. Oh, oh no. no. no this, this, sounds, this sounds like that movie, The Notebook. Kinda. Yeah, Donna watched it. She watched it. It's a tearjerker. She cried. I knew she oh, would. Oh, I'm telling you, it's a good one. Though. I think that's what every woman wants, though. Mm -hmm. That love affair that's in the notebook. That yeah. Oh, I know I do. No, well, I mean the love affair. I mean, yeah. I mean the whole thing, the whole nine yards, not just you know an affair. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about it was passion. The whole love I mean, they affair. were really it was a lifelong. Yeah. Thing. And they died together. Exactly. Wow. Well, if you hadn't seen the movie, there you go. <laughs> Tell the ending. <laughs> no secrets here on this. Uh -uh. Okay, this is one I pulled up for Patricia. Since she likes happy news. Thank and I you. wanted to give you something happy on your Friday. There's a guy in New York who's looking for love. Now, normally when you look for love, you just kind of go to the bars or the clubs or to the grocery store. Or Steve. I think Steve. Steve. That'd be 4359. <laughs> um, he decided he owns a farm. He's looking for a woman who likes farming. So he cut in, in the crops, not a crop circle, but it is single white female, SWF, got to love farming. Look right there. That's what he cut. Where now, does he live? In New York. I know. They actually have land in New York. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's in the country part. Are you <laughs> kidding? There's some gorgeous country up there. There is. Now, you love animals. Why don't you respond to this? Because I, that, that's farming. That means, you know, picking the hay and rolling you the hay. You say you the hay. <laughs> I like the horse to eat the it's hay. It's called picking <laughs> cotton, okay? <laughs> you don't pick hay. 
<laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I, I said I wanted a little farm. So that means I don't have to farm. That means that the animals can eat the, the grass. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's a good way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But that was a happy winning because I thought that was a good way. That's yeah. very, you know, I've never heard of a guy doing that. I've heard of a How's the woman going to see it? She'd have to be a pilot. He must be looking for a wealthy woman. Has he put it on the website? Well, it's There's in the magazine. Like, people so. <laughs> all over the news, you know, like media outlets are showing it. So mm -hmm. it's getting around this way, I guess. And I mean, I think that's a great idea, honestly. I might do that in my backyard this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Courtney Love. Remember I reported that she thought, well, that the British press was saying that she was pregnant and right. that she wasn't. Right. Well, she went back up to trial and failed her drug test. So they're sending her back to rehab. Well, she now has announced that she's pregnant. She is. Oh, oh that wow. poor child. <laughs> it's going to be, I mean, I'm, I'm with you she on She was, this. I mean, her and her boyfriend or whoever it was, they were so So well, it's out. Steve Coggins. He's a British comedian. There he is right there. Jonathan says he's lost a lot of weight. Um, but, okay, they're saying this is not the first time that she said, you know, throwing out the I'm pregnant whenever she's in trouble. Back last year, she hit a fan with a microphone and had to go to trial for it. Yes. And she announced then that she's pregnant. Kind of like one of those things thinking she'll get out of trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how that gets you out of trouble. Is her career Since such a spiral down that she has to do this? It must be. But she's to get attention. Always, she's been spiraling down, I think, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think she was I've never right. heard anything mm -hmm. but bad things about her. Ever. Mm -hmm. I like her music. She looked real good that I don't remember which Oscars it was, but she fixed right, up and that. she looked so good. I don't know what happened. I mean, I guess somebody told her that she didn't look good. I don't know what happened. She did she did look good. She yeah, she should have stuck That's with that. That's when she for a while. first started with the plastic surgery also. And, oh, okay. and but at that point in time she was still doing drugs mm -hmm. but it wasn't like I don't think I think it was more of a controlled thing. I think it just kinda got out of control type mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm not exactly sure. I mean, but I feel mm -hmm. bad for her. Well, Drew, we're going to have to pitch to a break. I know. I guess we have good things that we could talk about. We've got to go to break so we can pay some bills. Okay. Y'all go ahead and Steve. And Steve, we still love you. I'm in the Colonel's Army and I'm proud to be. Right wing, left wing, it tastes the same to me. I'll keep you hungry. The bucket stops here. Ain't afraid to be chicken. So we're clear. I only break for chicken and I break quick. You know I march to the beat of my own drumstick. Fuck it, the system, it's fried with pride. There'll be one less man at the salad bar tonight. Getting hungry? Well, that's okay. You're in Chicken Capital, USA. Aniston Orthopedics, the premier orthopedic group in Calhoun and surrounding counties for over 35 years, located in the RMC Tyler Center. The Orthopedic Center of Excellence houses offices, casting and MRI services, physical therapy, and the wound care center all under one roof. With eight board-certified surgeons, they can diagnose and treat all sports injuries, workers' comp claims, and perform minimal invasive surgery for hip and knee joints. Aniston Orthopedic Associates, serving all three major hospitals in the area. Call today for your appointment. Whether you're just starting out, adding to your family, taking a step up, or scaling down at retirement, Coldwell Banker Realty is committed to finding the right home for you. Visit our office at 1506 Layton Avenue and meet one of our fine professionals who will assist you in locating that property suited just for your situation. So give us a call at 237-7777. Coldwell Banker Realty, your perfect partner in real estate. 17 years ago is when we chose to start coming to Antioch. We had young children, and it was a local church, and we just wanted a place for our family to, looking for a place for our family to fit in is the reason we started coming. What I enjoy about Antioch is, I, of course, the music and the preaching and, and the people and, and Sunday school. I enjoy Sunday school and the fellowship that comes with uh, just being around others, and just it's just a great place to come. I would describe Antioch as a, as a, as a loving church. NHC Place of Anniston, located on a beautifully landscaped campus, features many services for older adults, including assisted living and an Alzheimer's specialty care unit. We deliver service according to your needs. At NHC Place, you can depend on enhanced comfort, the convenience of home, and the best in security. Take a nap. Take a walk. 
Take your time. Enjoy peace of mind at NHC Place Assisted Living of Anniston. When you're on the go, it's good to know there's a Young Oil Company Grub Mart nearby. Whether you need a fill-up, a snack, or something cold to drink, you'll find it all at your local Grub Mart. Clean stores, friendly service, and pay at the pump. It's all waiting for you at your home-owned and operated Grub Mart. For quality gasoline and the best of convenience, visit the nearest Young Oil Company Grub Mart. There's a Grub Mart near you. Welcome back to The Edge. Erin is still here with us and she's from Quintard Mall. And now that we've talked with Erin about gossip and other things, we're going to talk about the mall. Every woman's favorite subject, right? <laughs> Shopping. <mall>. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We, um, actually, we have been collecting money. It's funny that we showed Steve. He was at the mall not or last week to um, help us kick off this drive for money. And I'm telling you, if he came down to the mall in that outfit, <laughs> I really think we would, it it would pick, up the, <laughs> you gotta pick up the pace a little. Uh, but anyway, the, the uh, drive that we're doing with K98 has been going real well. I think as of now, we've raised about $1,000, which, you know, it's kind of hard because everybody is collecting money. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're doing our part as well. Yeah. We have a box at guest services. so. People can stop by there and drop off their check to the Red Cross or cash is accepted as well. Now, what is the goal? Well, we don't really have a goal. Mm -hmm. We, you know, I think K98 at one point said two million dollars. So, <laughs> you know, that that might be a little far fetched, but you know, every little bit helps. Mm -hmm. So we're we're just kind of seeing. We're going to do it for another week or so and see how it goes. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've noticed that um, mall traffic has really picked up here lately too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know we. That's what we were. You know, we were just talking about at the break. We, you know, gas prices have skyrocketed, but we hope that people will stay here and shop locally instead of going to Birmingham or Atlanta to to find the same things mm -hmm. that they can find at Quintard Mall. Because mm -hmm. you can find lots of stuff at the mall. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, as far as shoes, like Drew was just <laughs> talking about, there's several, several shoe stores, and to me, Dillard's has some of the best shoe selection. I mean that. I mean anywhere really, right up there with Macy's and Parisian. So. And you know I'm right by a shoe store, which oh, is that's a bad right. spot for me <laughs> because I love shoes, uh -huh. and bags. <laughs> yeah. Are there more businesses coming in? I was there not. Well, I'm not there a whole lot, but when I was there last. I noticed that Route 21 had actually, it's like it had changed. Yes. Everything was, I thought I came in the wrong end. Oh, and it looks nice. <laughs> it is, and it's going to get even better. That whole side from Penny's, you know, Freedman's, all those stores have been have been rearranged and goodies will be here in the spring. So oh, okay. that's why all the moving and all that's we're taking place. We're looking forward to that. Absolutely. Goodies is a very, very good retailer. They they do a lot of sales and, you know, they have, they have good merchandise, mm -hmm. so. We're looking forward to that for sure. And Rue 21, I mean, that store is just amazing now. The difference it made having that brand new store. So, so I didn't get to go in it because it took me a second to realize what had what happened. Going on. Know, it looks I very was like, pretty. what in the world? Mm -hmm. It looks nice. Mm -hmm. It's a lot bigger though. Are there? Are y'all looking to expand? Is that what's going on? I mean, I was no, didn't know well, if Quintard Mall now is pretty much landlocked. So oh really? Yeah. So the um, you know the mall just expanded five years ago. Mm -hmm. So we're, you know, we're constantly trying to keep it fresh, bring in new stuff, have new events, and keep it exciting for the shoppers. Mm -hmm. And also, I know a lot of people are going to think that we planned this because of the hurricane, <laughs> but we have been planning this for quite a few months now. We're going to have severe weather safety and awareness day at the end of this month on the 28th, and we'll have, the mall, the mall will be packed with all kinds of businesses and organizations to, to tell the public what to do you know, in case there is a severe weather incident, you know, or afterwards, you know, if they're mm -hmm. what they need to do. So we're really looking forward to that. That's good. Are there any special events for Alabama and Auburn teams this year? You know what? It's kind of disheartening, but the the last few years, or ever since the mall expanded, we've had the pep rallies on the Tuesday and Thursday, the Auburn Alabama pep rallies before the game. Well, the alumni associations, they're having a hard time finding volunteers to do it. It's the same people that have been doing it year after year after year. So this year, we are not, we don't have one planned. Aww. We don't have one planned. So, Those are so what, fun. but see, what I'm hoping though is that there's going to be a huge public outcry and these <laughs> alumni organizations are going to be like, we have to do it. You know, we yeah. have to bring it back. So, you know, maybe. I don't know. I'm sure we'll be showing the game in the food a, court. And I'm an Auburn fan, so I had friends who were over in the food court, the mm -hmm. Alabama 
fans were calling me. See, I couldn't <laughs> see the TV. I haven't been. What is it? I mean, I haven't. Oh, I've wow. never heard of it. Big screen TV. And yeah, well, on the Tuesdays and Thursdays, we would have, like, the cheerleaders come. We'd set up a stage and, you know, pack the food court with a couple of hundred people and, you know, play music. And it was just, a, you know, exciting. Both of the, the mascots would be there. It's just a, you know, a fun yeah, time. Signing autographs. Yeah. Get those two different fans together. <laughs> No, like the, no, all you wouldn't want to do. No, that. Okay, that's no, all different thinking, nights. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. No, no, no. no. They were on different nights. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we could do that. Uh -huh. Safety issues involved. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> we Alabamians love our football. Oh yeah, we, we take do. It to heart. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we carry a little bit overboard. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Auburn and Alabama merchandise, Sports Mania they did relocate in the mall as well. So. Check out their new location. I mean, it's unbelievable They have the stuff that they have. It's all Auburn and Alabama merchandise, and they are just packed to the gills with stuff. So anything for that Auburn or Alabama enthusiast, if you so need to get. So you don't have to go to Birmingham now to find it. No, 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 no. It's at the Quintard Mall. That's right. So everything's That's right. just changing around. Mm -hmm. That's it good. Is. It that is. is good. Mm -hmm. I'll check out Dillard's. Now y'all make it so guilty. Yeah. <laughs> now, Dillard's has great shoes. They, they do. do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so. You go down there all the time to get your frappuccino from Starbucks, so just stop on Stop way. on by. I'm in a hurry. We need to make a drive-through shoe store. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like a pair of black high boots yeah. to go back to. We don't have a drive-through wedding chapel. I don't see why they can't have a drive-through shoe store. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's happening around Christmas time? Around Christmas time, well, always a lot going on around Christmas time. Um, milk and cookies with Santa Claus, that's one of the the classic events at Quintar Mall and the um, children that come, it's a free event. All they have to bring is like a canned good or a food item and that is like their ticket in. So then they get milk and cookies and a visit with Santa Claus and then that food will be donated to the Salvation Army. So that's, that's one of the things. And then of course pet pictures with Santa Claus. And a, now that's always interesting. Oh yeah. I mean you would be the dogs that are, some people have brought in pigs, snakes. So, I, mean, <laughs> I was you know, about to ask we if brought a snake in. Yes. Are we they call allowed? it paws and claws pet pictures of Santa but you know some people Hoping, think we've yeah. had a ferret I believe. I mean all kinds of things. But a portion of the, pro, or the, the um, sales of that will go to the animal shelter. So you know we're always trying to do something good and Help out. Uh, let me know well. ahead when somebody brings a, a snake. snake. Oh, I think you'll it. hear. <laughs> yeah. Spiders. You'll hear some of the scream. Well, no. It's not I really would hear you scream. Yeah. <laughs> and it's always, you're never too old to get your picture taken with Santa. No. I always mm -hmm. go every year. Oh, <laughs> and this would, this would be a perfect time for me to mention this. We have something so new and exciting this year planned for Christmas. We're going to have it snowing inside the mall. What? It's going to snow inside the mall. Oh, yes. good. Yeah. Oh, I make it feel so much like Christmas. I just happened upon this company that makes snow machines, and they're in Alabama. They're in North Alabama, and I called them up one day and just asked them, you know, how it works or whatever, and they said, oh, yeah, we've done malls. You know, we do malls. We do fashion shows. Is this close shows. to Mentone? Um, actually, it's up north of Huntsville in the oh. northwestern part of the state. So we, we're going to have snow machines in the mall, and at Santa Land, on every hour for three minutes, it's going to snow. Aww. Now, Erin, so, am I going to have to clean up the mess? No, Do I need it, to bring it evaporates before it hits oh, the ground. Oh, you're kidding. No, it's I've the most amazing thing. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> wow, think of, think of my friends who have moved down here from up north. Uh -huh. They have to come. Yeah. We hope everybody will come. Yeah. Just to see that, yeah. definitely. I mean, because that, I can't I'm imagine. sold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have to be there. you have to be there that When night. is that going to happen? That November the 11th, y'all. Santa Claus will be here in about eight weeks, believe it or not. So Santa Claus will be here on November the 11th, and that's when we will kick off the snow. Will it be every day? It will be every hour on the hour from November 11th through um, Christmas Eve. Neat. What about <laughs> Halloween? Is anything going on for Halloween? You know that, that uh, the place where I got the snow machines, they do have like fog and like all these other things, but we're going to get the public acquainted with snow and then we'll maybe venture out to something for <laughs> Halloween. Wow, that's going to just be great. It is. So what are we doing for Halloween? What do we do? Oh, we are handing out Halloween safety bags beginning October the 3rd. And it's a trick-or-treat bag, a color and book crayons, a temporary tattoo, and like a, a glow-in-the-dark um, bracelet, you know, for safety purposes. So, you know, that's what we'll be doing for Halloween. Mm -hmm. 
and you can pick those up. It's they're free while supplies last. Are kids gonna be able to do trick or treat in the mall this year? No, I believe um, we can't do that anymore just because it's too dangerous with kids wearing masks and you know there's too many bad people in this world to do that anymore at the mall but occasionally some stores will have candy but we encourage people you know not to count on the mall and plus too so many churches in our community they do the festivals and and things like that so there's so many other ways to Mm -hmm. you know get or do something like that in the community Mm -hmm. you know so that's what we encourage people to do okay well we need to take a quick break and we will be right back with more yeah, we do. Hello, I'm Rodney Minton, and welcome to Signature Homes. The construction meets all your international and southern building codes. They sit on a permanent foundation that we come out and build before the home gets there. The most beautiful thing is, is that they finance as a residential house. They appreciate in value the same as a residential house. It is a residential home. Come see what all the excitement's about. Signature Homes, Highway 78, Oxford. Ron's Barbecue, located just off the intersection of Highways 144 and 431, is the perfect place for you to enjoy delicious food with all your friends and family. Enjoy our favorites like hamburgers, wings, homemade onion rings, barbecue plates with tasty sides like baked beans and potato salad, and the famous peanut butter cake. Join us for ribs on Friday and Saturday after 4 o'clock, and all-you-can-eat catfish on Thursday. Ron's is open from 10 till 8 on Tuesday and Wednesday, and from 10 till 9 on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Ron's Barbecue, the neighborhood gathering spot for food and fun. Wright's Dairy. Alabama's only dairy farm where the cows are milked, and the milk is bottled and sold right on the farm. Located on Highway 431 North in Alexandria. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to 5. We have white milk, chocolate milk, butter, cheeses, and over 20 flavors of ice cream. Visit the store any day around 4 and see the cows being milked next door. Right today, where the cream still rises to the top. this fun place? The Victoria in Anniston. The quality and tradition of fine garment care is demonstrated every day at Stewart's Cleaners. You see, we know that when you look good, we shine. Every day, the tradition, the care, and expert handling of your apparel continues at Stewart's Cleaners. Stewart's Cleaning professionals diligently go about their tasks so that you can look your best. So walk in or drive through. The Stewart's Cleaning professionals are waiting for you. Since 1914, the tradition continues. Stewart's in Anniston and in Jacksonville. Welcome back to The Edge. We're joined now with Nicola Fonte, who is a local artist, and he's going to tell us all about art and how he got to be here. Well, the first time was by pure chance, but this is the second time, so it means it's by choice. I see. Because first time, actually, I arrived in Detroit, where there was a quote-unquote friend who was supposed to help me establish, and all he did I helped him to move with his family in San Francisco. He ripped me of my money and then left me there in the middle of nowhere. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that doesn't sound like much of a friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said, quote, unquote. So at that point, I called a real friend of mine. He was living like 400 yards from a restaurant in Italy. And this guy is the, there is an army base, and this guy was the, the highest ranked civilian over there. So I called him for suggestion. And he said, well, find a way to meet me in Aniston, Alabama. I'll be there in a couple of weeks. And I said, any what? <laughs> Where? <laughs> you don't hear about Aniston if you live somewhere else. Now they do, because I always talk about Aniston. But that time, there was nobody. <laughs> so I took the bus, went to Aniston, and then my friend arrived, and then started meeting people. And I've been welcomed and helped in a way that is beyond possible description. And when I was back in Italy, I was telling my father what some of these people had done for me to help me. He was saying, oh, you're telling me this just to 
for, so that I don't worry. Yeah. This cannot be true. <laughs> I was like, no, Dad, believe Typical me, Typical parent true. response, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so eventually I made it back because while I was here the first time, my paper expired, so I didn't want to stay illegally. I always like to play according to the rules. Got back and mainly with the help of uh, the family of Jim Roberts and uh, Bill Acker, mm -hmm. they helped me to get back and got back to JSU where I was uh, again in computer science because my degree from Italy uh, is in computer science. And the only thing was that I got here September 6, 2000, it was the very last day to add or drop. And I needed three more hours because if you are an international student, you have to have a full load. Mm -hmm. So basically the only class that was available was uh, drawing one. I said, well, let's take it. Mm -hmm. I, I discovered that I could draw and I didn't know. <laughs> I had Very well, might I add. <laughs> Wonderful artist. So, so what do you draw? Is it landscapes? No, uh, that was the first class, and then uh, my teachers over there convinced me to change from, com they, they were saying, you already have a degree in computer science, you don't need another one. You need to, to work in the art field. So they convinced me, and I'm glad they did. Mm -hmm. And so eventually I graduated from JSU, summa cum laude, with a uh, double concentration in graphic design and painting. Wow. wow. That's very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so. It was a it was an adventure, but I would start all over again in a heartbeat. You should see Nicola. I had a lot of my classes yeah. with him, and he's the kind of person that you hate to have in your class because <laughs> no matter what you do, his stuff is always better. Oh yeah, he's yeah. the person that makes the perfect grades, mm -hmm. and you know you get the C on the test, and no matter like everybody else can get a C, but Nicola has a hundred and five. But never brags about it. Either. No, it never. Kind of sits but back see, there. I had to get good grades because my goal was not to get another degree. My goal was to stay here in the States. So in order to stay, to get a, a, a visa and or a green card, you have to be above the average so that, because that's the way it works. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know it's very hard. I mean, if you want to stay here, playing according to the rules, it is really hard. And thank God, January, I got my green card, so I can stay for as much as I want. Good for you. Well, we hope you stay a long time. <laughs> Tell us, I know there are obvious differences between here and Italy. What are the most challenging things you've had to go through? Challenging? Besides our Southern English. Well. Which is hard to <laughs> understand. Hey, if you understand my <laughs> Italian accent. Very well. <laughs> well, actually, as I said, I've been helped and made welcome. I had, I cannot think of anything negative. That's and, terrific. And my goal, as I always say, is to stay within the triangle Aniston, Jacksonville, Oxford. Mm -hmm. So I've seen 26 states, and this is my choice. Well, we're glad to hear that. This he needs to do an advertisement for us for Calhoun County. Yes. <laughs> this is so different, though. I, I, know, I know it's very different. but. I don't know how to ask this because I don't, you know, it'd probably be a long list, but this is very different than Italy, right? Well, it is. We think, you know, we think, oh, when you think Italy, oh, I think, I think romance it, yeah, and love. Well, <laughs> Water for some reason. I'm not sure about why that. <laughs> but, um, so why here over Italy? I mean, well, Italy. Italy is a wonderful place to go and visit, but then get back here as soon as possible. Really? Mm -hmm. You survive over there. See, the reason I came here was because at that time, even though they had changed their name, there was a communist government. And to me, that was the yeah. biggest no-no that, <laughs> that you can possibly think. So I wanted to, to go as far as possible from them. I blame you for that. So. What about um, m spending money? How would money be different here? And like the cost of living, that kind of thing. Well, uh, <laughs> Here we complain about our 8% sales taxes. Over there, the minimum, the entry level sale, ta sale tax is 20%. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Up to 38 on what they call luxury items. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Wow. When I left September 2000, gas was already almost $5 a gallon, oh, the equivalent of $5 a gallon. <laughs> if we get Starbucks. <laughs> so. Yeah, how much is Starbucks there? Do they have that one? No, I don't think. It, 
No. Oh, they Italy they is. Yeah, it's just a place you visit. Well, then you'll never there. go. No you'll Starbucks, never go. forget it. <laughs> no, if you go there and you start getting those coffees, you oh, forget yeah. about Starbucks. I'll bet I'd be up weeks. <laughs> 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 yeah, coffee over there is almost a religion, I would say. Oh man, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> if you don't know how to make your coffee. So it's really <laughs> strong. I've heard that you can make oh, yeah. some coffee. Oh yeah. Well, that's just what it's I not had. a rumor. <laughs> well, I had, I had to because having had a restaurant over there, even though the, the specialist of coffee was my father, of course, you have to learn. You better learn. So you had a restaurant over there? Yes. So what was your specialty? Well, each one of us had a, it was a family-run restaurant. So my mother would do appetizers and first courses. Mm -hmm. My father would do everything meat-related, especially on the grill. I would do everything fish-related. So mm -hmm. that was a division of tasks. Hmm. Nicole used to be a race car driver, too. Yes. Wow, you were like, you just <laughs> got over everything. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So tell us about that experience. Well, that experience, uh, I learned this. <laughs> no matter how good you are, if you don't have money, you're not going to go anywhere. Mm. Especially over there in Europe, at the beginning you have to have thousands and thousands to, to keep going and eventually reach the top level. It's not like here that you can raise on weekend and even with very little money. Now over there, when, when I was racing, I, was, I reached up to Formula 3, which would be now the one right before Formula 1. They say, well, what is Formula 2? There is no Formula 2. I, I, I don't make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking a little bit about um, the cost of living there and taxes as high as they are. What is the average income per family? Lower than here. That well, over there, they live? <clears throat> you survive. See, that's why, example, I, I didn't feel comfortable at all, uh, comfortable at all to mm -hmm even try to start a family over there yeah. because I think you you have the the duty to give the best and over there no matter what you couldn't start a family or, or anything because as I said you survive mm -hmm. you work hard you have one of these two options you, you work your eight hours and you get very little money so mm -hmm. you're just hanging on or if you work more like when I was there, I wanted to make as much money as possible to get back here quickly. So I was working like 12, 14 hours a day. But then after you have worked all those hours, and of course you have made more money, who, who is in the mood to go out and have fun? Sure. I mean, you're you worn out. So either way, either way, you're not going to have fun. Yeah. So. so what made you want to come to America in the first place? I just, I, I've always, this always just makes me so curious. What people hear about America that makes them want to come here? Because I hear great things about Italy, but then when you you actually break it down and tell what's behind if, what everybody says. If I had to tell you the exact reason, beside what I said about the, the government over there, all I, know, all I knew is that I had to be here. I don't know why. I had to be here. It just has been... I, mean, I like the English language even since I was a kid. I would go to my older friends and ask them to teach me English even though I was not, I was not in school yet. I don't know. I cannot figure out. You just out. always knew you were going to be here. Well, I suppose. Well, you seem like you're doing great here and <laughs> apparently you fulfilling was right. Yeah. But we got to go to a quick break and we'll be back and I'll ask the question everybody wants to know. Is this the place to start a family? We'll find out in one second. Do you worry about your loved ones when they are not there? Let Signature In-Home Care help you stop worrying and improve the quality of life for your loved ones. We provide affordable in-home assisted living services and companionship for maturing adults. Call today for a free in-home assessment and tips to help your family remain safe and well cared for in the comfort of their home. Signature in Home Care, professional, affordable care. Here's Dr. Ron Adderholt on the importance of experience. I had a little girl in the office the other day and I realized from looking at her mother's chart that her mother was one of my first patients 21 years ago. That means I'm getting older. That means that I'm getting a lot more experienced. 
And it also means that her mother had enough confidence in us that after 21 years to bring her daughter in here and let us take care of her. And that's the best part of this job. Where do you go? What do you say? Come on down here today. Who needs all the yelling and screaming? At Nissan of Gadsden, we believe in friendly, honest service and quality products. At Nissan of Gadsden, we have a wide selection of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Nissan of Gadsden is proud to support the community. Nissan of Gadsden support Gadsden City Titans! For quality, service, and honesty, Nissan of Gadsden. Believe me, we've got your Nissan. More printing. Aniston's number one copy shop, with over six million copies in the last three years. More Printing features new four-color printing at great prices. 500 full-color business cards with photos for only $49.95 plus setup. Color copies as low as 39 cents each, and black and white as low as four cents each. For locally owned, personal service, call More Printing, rated Calhoun County's number one service printer. Remember, for pickup and delivery, call More Printing today. Welcome back to The Edge. Okay, before you ask Nicola the, the famous question, okay, we gotta show these. They're fluff and nutter cookies. Or fluff crackers. what? Fluff and nutter. Ah. It's the fluff and the nuts, so it's a fluff and nutter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good yeah. name. Fluff and nutter crackers, mm -hmm. they're not cookies. Yeah, exactly, yeah. what is well, it? Well, I mean, it's, it's so easy to make, it's incredible. Uh, all you do is get Ritz crackers, peanut butter on top of those, Ooh. and marshmallow cream. That's all there is to it. So you have the fluff and the mm -hmm. peanuts. Mmm, that yeah. sounds good. Pick they're great after school snacks. And they're sweet, I'll bet. Yeah, they are because it's fly. Harvey! <laughs> <laughs> Harvey the fly. <laughs> okay. Anyway, incredible. Now, the question of the hour. Since you, are you ready now in Alabama? Is Alabama a good place to start a family, would you think? Would you seem. I, I, I wouldn't say. I mean, I would say yes because. I see it here families are closely knit mm -hmm. and that's so Italian. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are close here, that's for sure. So uh, if, if I'll ever decide this is the place. <clears throat> see, and I Absolutely. think we're friendly with one another too. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. driving down the road, we wave to one another. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> when, when I went back over there, I would. I would wave everybody. My friends were like, you don't know that person. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, that's a habit I got over there. <laughs> right, I was driving down the road this morning, and everybody I saw, you know, you you got the steering wheel and you do the... Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody, every car. I missed that. I, I rode into JSU and one guy did that, and I didn't do it back, and I felt so guilty the rest of the way to here, mm -hmm. just because I didn't raise my hand. But at my, sometimes I react slowly. <laughs> like 10 cars see, later and you do it. See, now it comes in automatic. Yeah, I don't even think about it. Yeah, First time I was like, are they waiting to get me? I don't know that. <laughs> now this is a reaction I get in New York. Because I'm used to doing this, hey, you know, to everybody. <laughs> when you go there, you don't go, hey. In Washington, D.C., I was just, you know, people worse. were waving at me. And I'd wave right back. Dude, they weren't waving at me. They were shooting me the bird when I pulled out. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it took me a while to realize these people weren't being nice to me. <laughs> California, howdy. <laughs> Not that they're mean people, but, you know, my car didn't have good pickups. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your paintings. Well, I work mainly in oil or watercolor. Oil, I usually do more abstract, but um, it's a little hard to describe. It's not all this just throwing together colors. Mm -hmm. I always try to, to create shapes with colors. Uh, usually arrange them in patterns and then come out with this shape and I always end up without being able to find a name. So <laughs> I would go to Patricia and, what does it look like? I had this painting on a three-dimensional canvas that I worked really hard on and I couldn't think of a name. I said, Patricia? She goes, well, that's a digital peacock. I mean, <laughs> it, it took me one day for to like find nothing. Yeah, <laughs> and in less than a blink of an eye, she found the right name and has been digital peacock ever since. So you can do the paintings and she can name And I can name yes. them. We make a good team. <laughs> you know, his artwork, his oils, they're very graphic. 
and a lot of bright colors. It, it's, I guess any drawing is really graphic. It's a graphic, but you know, it has a, I don't want to say a lot of shapes, but they flow and they all flow together. They're just, they're really, really pretty. So. Art people really understand other art people. I've noted my brother and my mother are both art people. They both go to school here, or went to school here, um, and took art. And you guys like speak your own lingo. I mean, you know what you know, you guys. I look at art and I think, boy, that's a nice poster. But I mean, you guys can actually see stuff. And, and so whenever- But see, I what I try to do, I, I try to do in my artworks, I try to put something that is for everybody. It has to be appealing to the eye, even to the untrained eye. That's my goal. But on the other hand, if uh, an art critic uh, look at that one, that person is going to be able to find some complexities that are good looking, so that the untrained eye is going to like them without knowing why. And the art critic is going to say, uh-huh, that's what he did. That makes sense, because I, I love paintings and sculptures of the human body. I think it, they're beautiful. I've seen some. Yeah, that's, that's what I love. That's what I draw. Oh, OK. With uh, charcoal or um, sanguine. Instead, in watercolor, I do really realistic. Uh, works mainly landscapes, oftentimes from my old place, Tuscany. <laughs> oh wow! I know. <laughs> so that sounds so romantic. I know. I'm like just you know getting the, under the Tuscan sun is all I can think. <laughs> I love that. The moment he said all, got yeah. on here, I was thinking that's all I could think about. Wow. No, Tuscany. I'm not saying this because I'm from there, but uh, if you think of the major art, the Renaissance, Florence, Siena, Pisa, it's all there. Plus, my little town, 5,000 souls, <laughs> <laughs> was less than 20 minutes to, to the sea and one hour and 15 to snow skiing. So hmm. you have it all over there in Tus just Tuscany. Is it as beautiful as it was in the movie? Did you see the movie? I no, but the movie. no, but it is. It is it beautiful. Is. It's like and a painting. See, the landscape is very similar to, to Alabama landscape. You know, rolling hills. Yeah, but the grass is always greener on the other <laughs> side, man. <laughs> yes, well, that's why I'm here. We're talking about right. this place. He's talking about ours. We're I'm like, I'm picturing like rock, rock here? stone <laughs> things, you know, like the fences. Little and cobblestone. The, yeah, that cobblestone, yeah. block stone. Goodness yeah. gracious. I mean, just, little, yeah. I think we should all go. Yeah. yeah. We should have an edge mm -hmm. trip to Tuscany. I think right. that is a wonderful idea, Patricia. We can write it off on income tax because it's a business trip. That's right. And you can be yeah. our guide. And with streaming video now, we could, you know, always Record. pipe it in here. Yeah. Have the sure. show from over there every day. And I'll fill everybody in on how Italian men really are. <laughs> <laughs> See, she's not happy with seeing one only. <laughs> no, you'll learn. Yeah, one doesn't do it. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with mail bashing. And we're going to get an Italian man's opinion oh, oh. on mail bashing. It's the first time you're on the edge. Is your automobile dirty, in need of an oil change, or just needs to be filled up with gas? Well, come on down to the Great American Car Wash, Calhoun County's only full-service tunnel. The Great American Car Wash has been satisfying customers for over 10 years. We specialize in exterior washes and offer a 10-minute oil change. Remember, you get a free car wash with each oil change. Also, we give you a clean car guarantee. Rain, dust, birds, or anything that gets your car dirty within 48 hours, and we'll wash it for free. Come on down and see us, and let us make you and your car happy. Farmers and Merchants Bank has served the citizens of Calhoun, Cleburne, and Cherokee County since 1915 with top quality services and products. F&M Bank has grown from an office in Piedmont to offices in Anniston, Jacksonville, and Oxford. We are still an independent, home-operated bank striving to be what you want a bank to be. This month, we celebrate 90 years of hometown banking and invite you to come into one of our friendly offices and celebrate with us. Farmers and Merchants Bank, what you want a bank to be. Downey Medical is proud to introduce the iStep Pressure Analysis Computer, which accurately measures pressure distribution on your foot surface. The professionals at Downey Medical can analyze your test and pinpoint areas of concern while forwarding color-coded prints to your physician for his records. If you are diabetic or have painful arthritic feet, call today for your free iStep foot analysis at Downey Medical. A trip to Venice. 
$3,500. Skydiving lessons, $750. An Hawaii vacation, $2,000. A life with hope and purpose, priceless. For more information, contact us at Covenant Life Ministries. When it comes to you as an individual or for your business, the choice of wise financial counseling for taxes, bookkeeping, or payroll services is simple. Call Brent Middlebrook and Faye Pettis in Oxford. Their goal is to provide professional accounting support no matter what the need. Hi, I'm Brent Middlebrook, CPA. I've been an accountant for 18 years in the Northeast Alabama area. Please give Faye and me a call if we can assist you with any of your business needs. Brent Middlebrook and Faye Pettis. The choice is easy. Brace yourself for the GM and Ford Aftermath event at one location, Buster Miles Ford in Heflin. After the largest new car month in 19 years, our lot is flooded with top quality pre-owned vehicles that must be sold now. Nine days only, 200 vehicles at wholesale pricing. GM and Ford have extended employee pricing on all new vehicles. Brace yourself. It's huge. The GM and Ford Aftermath event going on now at Buster Miles Ford in Heflin, exit 199. Welcome back to The Edge, the talk show that's five women, four women of about women. We've had a really good show today, and now we're ready for mail bash. Uh -huh. We're going to get an Italian man's opinion. One, two, and three. Well, I got the big one. <laughs> <laughs> because you read so well. Okay, number one. I just wanted to tell The Edge that I enjoyed Tuesday's show. I know Vicki Davis, but the way you allow, or the way you all, I want to say y'all, I'm from Alabama, <laughs> but the way you all allowed her to share was awesome. I also thought that the pictures of Africa were amazing. I would love to see her on more often. It was a blessing. Thank you all for adding some spice to TV24. I really enjoy the show when I'm able to view it. Be blessed. That's, that was really Thank a nice you. email. It was. Thank you very much. Very nice. Okay, well, you're, you're out of it right now, but whew, let's see. <laughs> Maybe the next one. Let's see what happens in number two. Oh, someone sending us a, a hint. Before you head to the drugstore for a high-priced inhaler filled with mysterious chemicals, try chewing on a couple of curiously strong Altoids. Is that what oh, you had right that's here? That's what I've been chewing on the whole show. <laughs> Peppermints. They will clear up your stuffed nose. We're going to have to try that. Dude, they'll clear up a drain, okay? <laughs> Come on, those things are good. Lord have mercy. Okay, you're off the hook on this one. Now let's see what happens on the third one. You've been chewing? Me in trouble. Yeah. Too strong for me. I'm going to sound like a dreaded mother-in-law, but I'm having a problem with, him, with the man my daughter is about to marry. I've seen him on dates with other girls since he's been engaged to my daughter. I confronted him about it, and he, and he topped it off by lying. He told me this girl was his cousin. In Alabama, it might have been, lady. I'm just, <laughs> apparently, no. she was his kissing cousin. Oh, listen to her. Smart woman. I'm not buying it, and I want to tell my daughter and I want to tell my daughter, discuss this. What do you think I should do? Okay, what do you think she should do? I think truth is always the winning, mm -hmm. the winning solution mm -hmm. because she, she may be able to save this marriage before it starts or otherwise if it happens, then it's going to be much worse. Well, he's been seen with other girls out in public. He's not ready to get married. Mm -hmm. Well, no. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. <laughs> Or at least not with her, with that one, mm -hmm. because. And of all people, though, the mother to find out, you know. And he's not yeah. even sneaking around, dude. I, I mean, know, he's right out, I mean, out there. I mean, that's just. And then he's lying on top of it, he's saying cool. this dude, is a cousin. If you were, if you were the girl with him, knowing that you know, yeah, this is my cousin. If you were with a guy and he told this woman that approached you that you were his cousin, I'm surprised any of this is flying. I mean, I, you know, of course it happens. I do gossip and I know it happens. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you're the queen of gossip. And I'm surprised she didn't just, if I was you, Let I would have it right go off, there. go off, snap. Because if you don't, I mean, he's not going to back off. Well, okay, if this woman confronts her daughter, her daughter is probably going to think it's a lie automatically and get really upset. What about that? How do yeah, you so how that? do you approach that? I think she'd button in probably. Well, if she thinks that, uh, her mother is lying for whichever reason, then she may deserve it. To be, to be in that wrong marriage. Because if you don't, if you don't trust mm -hmm. for that, 
I mean, I don't know the relationship mm. between mother and daughter, but hey, I mean, he's not talking about. Well, I mean, nobody really <coughs> listens to their mother when they're. No. It depends on the age they are. I mean, now I would listen to my <laughs> mother, but way back when I didn't. You know, that I mean, I mean, you'd have to th at least stop and think about it if she brought it up. Love can blind you, and mm -hmm. it's sad to say, but sometimes you have to learn the hard way. Mm -hmm. and sometimes you have to. There's some people that just cannot learn any other way. And so maybe you need to, well, I can't even tell a mother to let, just let it be, but maybe that's I, I just... I don't think I could let it be if this were my daughter. I would have to tell her. I would bring a picture. <laughs> oh, well, I was about to say, yeah, I'd bring back up. <laughs> do you think the evidence, I mean, the key to it is bringing evidence into the situation, to when she approaches her daughter to say...